state semifinals for boys lacrosse at Hinsdale Central. Naperville North and Scotty Allgood are here after some big heroics from Jacob Lubrin in the Super Sectionals. They face off against the perennial powerhouse Loyola Academy. Loyola up 1-0 with just under 6 to play in the first. Scotty Allgood from behind his own net hits a cutting Vastergaard who splits a pair of defenders for the goal. Knotted up at once. A minute later and Ramblers pass the ball around the horn and then Timmy Hackett takes it in himself and scores 2-1 Loyola. Loyola up 3-1 now and Mike Burden wins the faceoff and heads in on the attack. He passes to Brandon Tate who then hits Michael Fewer, knocking on the doorstep. Loyola won 21 faceoffs out of 25 and now leads 4-1. Just a minute into the second quarter, Huskies on a fast break. Alan Vastergaard walks in, looks for a man, but instead continues himself and bounces it in. North down two. Loyola up 5-2 now, five minutes to play until half. Najee Taylor dodges by a defender and then fakes the shot to hit Brandon Tate in front of the net for the goal. Loyola up 6-2. Two. two and a half until half, Ramblers up 7-3. Scotty Allgood does everything he can to shake off a defender then hits Sean Sullivan, who goes top shelf for his first of two goals. 7-4 to four now. Loyola's Ned Seaman waits patiently, then blows past the Husky defense and scores 8-4 at halftime. Beginning of the third, finds the Ramblers on a fast break and some nifty passing finds Quinn Callahan wide open in front of the net. He scores. 10-4 now. Ramblers running away with it. Little over a minute left in the third, Huskies fighting hard to the end. Scotty Allgood finds Matthew Mashmeyer, who bounces in his first of two goals. Huskies down seven. Ramblers bleed out the final seconds of the third quarter, and Connor Coach smokes a missile into the back of the net at the buzzer, helping Loyola to a 15-7 win. North will play in the third place game against Glenbard West. Offensively, I think we capitalized when we had opportunities. We didn't have the ball a whole lot because the faceoff wasn't going our way, but you know, Jakey and our defense was really stepping up and trying to get us the ball. And uh, yeah, like you said, it was four to eight. So when we had opportunities, we were capitalizing on them. Just keep the pace up. Um, they're kind of a slow team. They like to break it down into their offense and they're going to try and slow us up on defense, but you know we're a really quick team and we just really wanted to do that and keep up the pace and kind of control the game. We played well. Um, I don't think they were expecting us to come out like that. I mean, it was four to eight at halftime. We really had them on the ropes, but uh, I mean, guys that usually don't come out and score, I'm not usually a big scorer and I came out for it. Mashmeyer had two goals, you know, I think everyone was just given 100%. Um, but yeah, I, I thought we, we held them closer, a lot closer than they expected us to. And they're all great kids, great athletes. They really can just swing the ball around. They got a great offense. Uh, their defense really came out to play today against our uh, pretty tough offense. And they're just a good lacrosse team.